एयर पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल पार्ट टू देर आर एसेंशियली टू क्लासेस ऑफ टेक्निक्स बाय विच गैसियस पॉल्यूटेंट्स मे बी रिमूव फ्रॉम एन एफ्लुएंट स्ट्री द फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज बाय सॉप्शन ऑफ पॉल्यूटेंट थ्रू एब्जॉर्प्शन इन अ लिक्विड और एड्सॉप्शन ऑन अ सॉल्ट सर्विस द सेकेंड टेक्निक इज बाय केमिकल ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ द पॉल्यूटेंट थ्रू कंबस्शन और कैटेलिटिक ट्रीटमेंट एब्जॉर्प्शन बाय लिक्विड्स एब्जॉर्प्शन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज टेक्निक्स फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ गैसियस पॉल्यूटेंट्स बिफोर दे आर डिस्चार्ज इन टू द एटमोस्फियर This involves the transfer of the pollutant from the gas phase to the liquid phase across the interface in response to a concentration gradient with the concentration decreasing in the direction of mass transfer. Gas absorption is commonly conducted in equipment which are designed to prove provide intimate contact between the two phases the contact between gas and liquid can be accomplished by dispersing the liquid in the gas or vice versa some of the commonly used absorbers in air pollution control are pack towers plate towers spray towers and venturi scrubbers the second technique is by adsorption or by solids adsorption is a surface phenomena by which gas or liquid molecules are captured and they adhere to the surface of a solid adsorbent the attractive forces holding the molecules at the surface may be either physical in nature which we call it as physical adsorption or chemical which you call it chemist option in nature in physical adsorption the gaseous material condenses upon the surface of the solid and is accompanied by an evolution of heat the adsorbed material can be removed or desorbed by reducing the pressure or by increasing the temperature the process is thus reversible in nature chemical option is the result of a chemical interaction between the solid and the adsorbed material it is usually irreversible with the heat of adsorption being much higher than that for physical adsorption the molecules are held to the solid surface by chemical bonds and the original material undergoes a chemical change chemical option is of particular importance in catalysis but it is not a primary mechanism in air pollution adsorption techniques are widely used in the field of odor control for removing small quantities of pollutants present in a large volume of air adsorption techniques are also used for collecting valuable organic substances that cannot be picked up by scrubbing methods the rate of adsorption of a substance depends on the concentration of the material around the adsorbent the surface area of the adsorbent the pore volume of the adsorbent and other properties such as temperature molecular polarity and the chemical nature of the adsorbent surface several solids possess adsorptive ability with extremely large surface areas some of the adsorbents commonly used in air pollution control are activated carbon activated alumina silica gel and molecular sieves combustion industrial processes produce gas streams that have no recovery value so absorption or adsorption methods may not be economically feasible if the waste gas contains sufficient combustible material then incineration is used for air pollution control combustion applications include 
the destruction of orders toxic substances and reactive materials the prevention of explosion hazards and the reduction of pollutants in the oxidized forms the products of combustion of organic materials are normally odorless colorless giving off carbon dioxide and water vapor however high molecular weight hydrocarbons cause smoke problems similarly certain inorganic materials upon combustion give oxidation products like sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen and these remain a pollution problem so they have to be separated from the gas stream when a pollutant is destroyed the combustion must be complete otherwise intermediate products of combustion will form which may be more dangerous or poisonous than the original contaminant for example combustion for for complete combustion oxygen must come into intimate contact with the combustible material at sufficiently high temperature and a sufficiently long residence time time temperature and turbulence have so predominant role in combustion reactions that they are often called the three t's of combustion the normal ranges for combustion are temperature from 375 degree centigrade to 825 degree centigrade residence time 0.2 to 0.5 second and gas velocity 4.5 to 7.5 metric ton per second 